What is an NLP technique for anxiety, more specifically, social anxiety? Now, it's important to understand that when you start thinking about any type of anxiety, but also social anxiety, and you start Googling that, what people tend to come across are articles about people who actually have an anxiety or social anxiety disorder. And that is really something different from what a lot of us experience. A situation where um, you are meeting often new people, where you're somehow on some level are being evaluated, you may be judged, and so that could be a, any situation where there is a first impression, uh, a wedding, a birthday party, maybe even a new uh, new job, or, or even in a job interview, this, this could be actually flagging, and then th that becomes even with the anxiety for a job interview with itself. And so you may actually be surprised if you're an extrovert that a lot of introverts also, even for some, some very basic situations, uh, like a birthday party where they don't know a lot of people, that there is a level of social anxiety that may flag. And that is because an, an extrovert goes to a party and, and they kind of like to mingle with a lot of different people at that party and have like little mini conversations. Uh, an introvert actually, <laughs> if they go to the party at all, uh, what they're actually more into is having a conversation with one or two people and that goes a little bit deeper rather than navigating the whole room. And they're also losing energy at the party rather than gaining. So that's a whole thing. And then introverts deal with it in different ways, but that's a whole other story. So what is then an NLP technique? that allows you to deal with that? Well, first, it, it requires you to understand how anxiety works a little bit inside the brain, okay? Any anxiety, but also social anxiety. And so what happens is, is that um, you actually float your awareness into the future. So you're not even at the location yet where you're meeting these people. You're, you're floating your awareness into the you at that moment, but instead of like being an optimist uh, who's going to control the situation like a boss and being a social butterfly and doing amazing, what you actually start imagining is what it will be like that you actually mess things up. You have no one to talk to or uh, people don't like you, you're not fitting in. Or you're going to have this real big awkward thing happening with you're standing there with no one to talk to uh, <laughs> and everybody will see that you have no one to talk to. So, so that's, a, that's, a, that's a, like a really awkward situation and, and that causes you to step your mind into that place and then see what you would see, hear what you would hear and feel what you would feel. And so that becomes then your brain experiences that moment as if it's real. And whether you have anxiety disorder or just an anxiety problem, the solution is actually the same. You know, so even someone with an anxiety disorder who technically shouldn't be seeing a coach, but maybe a therapist, uh, although I think a lot of NLP coaches actually are more than capable to even deal with a disorder. It depends on how much you know about it. Because the, the, the social anxiety disorder is also fixed by learning coping strategies um, and what to do in those situations and how to interact, how to create a better situation, how to interact. So NLP is actually an ideal way in uh, you know, using the techniques of neuro-linguistic programming. You get a sense of like, how, how do I deal with this social anxiety so I actually don't show up at the party with anxiety, but show up in an entirely different way. Now, there's a, a few solutions that I can offer you, but one of them is this. If you have an understanding that you're placing your mind inside the situation uh, and experience as if it's bad, so what if nobody likes me type of situation, is to actually do what people do that experience no anxiety. Yeah, so that's, that's one step to it. Um, so and that step is sort of like what someone does is they actually sort of prevent themselves from stepping into that situation 
and imagine it's bad. What they actually do is they actually dissociate. And that, that's one. They dissociate and sort of like, well, let's float my awareness until after that party is over, right? And imagine that I can look back at myself at that party, um, like a movie, seeing yourself at that party that was yesterday, let's say. And the thing is, is that the brain cannot process that information. So because one, you're dissociated, so you're observing yourself. Uh, and two, um, you're, the, the party is already over, so you're looking back. So it's kind of like placing your mind further into the future, dissociated, non-emotion, looking at your, look back at yourself. And at that moment in time, you cannot control the situation anymore, if that makes sense. So you, it's already over. It either went well or it didn't go well. And, 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 and so, but anyway, you don't have to do that anymore. And what is it that you learn here? Well, you didn't die. Uh, that, that's one bonus right there. Um, but also you discover that your life moves on. And because your brain can't compute anxiety after the event and dissociate it, it has some known emotion, the emotion flattens. And what that allows you to do is because you're not experiencing the social anxiety, you actually drop it for a split second. You can actually look, well, what can I do in preparation of, let's say, that birthday party? And what could I do at the birthday party to actually create a better result? Now, what can I do to sort of remedy this situation? And so here's a, a few suggestions as to what you could do. You could uh, show up at the party in a very powerful, positive state. Elsewhere on this YouTube channel or elsewhere on this uh, feed, you will find uh, a circle of excellence. It's actually a great example of a woman who has a fear of dating or showing up for dates, which is kind of like an evaluation. It's kind of like a social anxiety. And so also I also explain how that should be executed. So you could show up with that powerful, excellent emotional state that actually you know, takes care of all the smaller negative states where you may mess up and you come in as your best excellent self. Right, that that's what you could do to prepare. You could also go, well, maybe I can find out who's actually going and, 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 f and find out if my thoughts are actually true. Maybe actually I do know someone at that party. You can also maybe alert someone, the person who invited you, for instance, and say, hey, I am nervous about where, what, what's going to happen. Can you help me out? because I'm, I'm experiencing a little social anxiety and can you maybe, you know, help me out, maybe put me in touch with someone at the party, alert another person with social anxiety um, and, and we can hang out together or something like that. So that's a little bit of a vulnerable place. You could also sort of like, well, what conversations could I hold over there? How can I build rapport using an OP? Um, how can I, you know, utilize some tactics to connect into to other people. And I think one best way to connect to other people is actually being willing to step in their map of the world and, and, and not from a place of judgment and evaluation, but from a place of interest and, and wanting to make a, a general connection. So there's a, a whole, whole bunch of ways that you could prepare for this uh, conversation, uh, this situation that ordinarily would cause you social anxiety. And, and if you want to top it up with a, another extra NLP technique for anxiety, you can also then after um, step into the you at that location, seeing and hearing and feeling it actually going really well, or even like looking around as to what you can control in that situation rather than what you cannot control. And, and that is sort of like leveraging the brain strategies of someone who's actually super resilient um, and also someone who is qualified as, as an, an optimist or a positive thinker. They look at what they can control and that the situation is te temporary. So that is an NLP technique for anxiety.
uh, social anxiety more specifically. And if you have interest in receiving an amazing product called seven NLP techniques and visualizations to hack your life that you can either use as a coach on other people or use on yourself, just uh, mail, email my back office and we'll send you a way to subscribe to our newsletter, uh, which uh, will, you will get twice a week amazing NLP techniques in your inbox. Uh, and we'll also send you this little product that's amazing. Hi from Bali. Uh, we're back here in June. And so if you have interest in joining us, just uh, visit our website at globalnlptraining.com. So that was an NLP technique for anxiety, for social anxiety. See you around.